Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com. I had one of my YouTube subscribers ask me a question about whether or not they could use Anime Studio for stop motion. And they were importing image files and trying to animate them over time, making one file visible and then the next and then the next. Uh, so here's my example of this. I imported five different image files of this hand and this is what they would look like. So if I wanted this hand to open through my time frame, uh, this is how not to do it. You don't go to frame 24 and then change to making another one of these visible with this visible invisible thing. Checking these little layer visibility things does not animate over time. It turns them on and off for your whole document. The way to animate over time, if you want to set a keyframe, is to double click, open this up, and in this window, any of the things that you can check or uncheck will animate over time. So with your flip layer and everything else, uh, if you were to do that by, say, grabbing your image layer and then trying to flip it like this in your document, it wouldn't stick. So any changes you want to make over time, otherwise known as animation, you would check any of your things in here. If I wanted to animate over time, I'll go to frame zero. And I'm actually going to make all of these visible. Whichever layer we want to be visible first, which is our closed fist, we'll leave this box check marked visible, we'll leave it checked on frame zero. For the rest of these layers, we uncheck this and make them invisible. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now the only layer we have showing is layer one. Now we'll go a quarter of a second into this and then we'll change this. Now we're going to make layer one invisible, and we're going to make layer two visible. Now we'll go another quarter of a second into it and set another keyframe by making layer two invisible, and layer three visible. And then another quarter frame, make this invisible. And the next one we make visible. Um, so as we scrub through time, we get our stop motion. This will take a long time. It's okay if you're going to do something small like a, a short walk cycle for a, an animated GIF or something you know, that you're converting over. Um, but if you're going to try and do a whole document or a whole animation this way, it's going to take a long time. But that's how it's done. I know this tutorial was out of order, but like I said, it was in response to a question somebody asked. So I hope this helps everybody.